Hey guys, it's me Kate again. So this video is my June TBR. So let's go with the corporate roll number one. So that's when we landed on last one and let's go with the roll number one. It's a three. One, two, three is historical fiction. And that landed that's when historical fiction. Uh, so for that I'll be rereading the gentleman's guide to getting lucky, which is novella in the gen after the gentleman's guide to lights and virtue. In which are following Monty and Pers uh, Monty, who is just about to go on his grand tour with his best friend, best friend Percy, who he may not, uh, may or may not be in love with, and his little sister Felicity. It's a novel between first and second books. Uh, it's cute. It's funny. Because it's ridiculous. So. It goes on a pile over there. Let's go into roll number two. Let's go with roll number two. We have a two. And it's characters. And we have... Read a, uh, read a book featuring a character who likes dogs, okay? So roll number two lends us on a character card. And then and, and I pulled... Read a book featuring a character who loves, likes dogs. Let me tell you that I forgot that that was one of the poems that was written on there. There, because uh, most of the poems were written in 2021, I think. I don't remember, I think 2020, but uh, I honestly forgot that this was even a poem that was in a pile. Uh, let me tell you, there's a couple of others that I for forgot that were in there. Uh, mostly because uh, I know some of them. I don't know all of them. Because some of them were really, really specific. And, uh, and I said most of them were written in like 2020, 2021, so I just forgot that that could be even a, one of the prompts, so. But for, at least for this one, I managed to find the book and that's uh, Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb in this sequel, this second, this sequel to Assassin's Apprentice in which are following Fitz, who at the age of six is left uh, by his maternal grandfather on the doorstep of the keep for his father, the crown prince, to raise him. But when his father hears that his bastard son is coming, he abdicates the throne and goes to live in the countryside, which leaves fit in a really uncomfortable situation, and he's, where he's mostly raised by the sable master Borg up until the certain age when King takes, it, King takes the interest in him and decides he would be a great royal assassin. And stuff goes from there. Let's go into roll number three. Let's go to roll number three. And it's 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's middle grade of children's. So, rule number 3 and learning us on middle grade of children's. And, uh, that, the book that I chose uh, for this is really on a high shelf, so I couldn't get it down right now. But it's named like Paulina by uh, Sonia Polak, in which are following Paulina, who tells us the story of her day-to-day -day life in a diary format. It's honestly ridiculous, but it's fun. And coincidentally, I had to read it for school back in second or third grade. And um, it was the first book that I had to read for school that I actually liked. And one of only few, so and let's go into fourth uh, roll, roll of which was um, because I got double on the roll number two, so let's go into roll, roll number four. Now let's go with roll number four. 
it's a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. It's gifted. And you know what? I'm gonna roll again. Four teaspoon. And it's an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is paranormal. So roll number four, I skip the original prompt to go to the original it's supposed to go to to paranormal where I had them to choose two books for and for that I'll be rereading Witch Bane and Witch Minion by Lisa Casey which are the third following book and first novella in the Kitsune Chronicles series in which are following in which are following Sebastian who is a Kitsune which is Japanese ninth tailed fox spirit of elemental magic uh, and he's been around on a run ever since something happened to him a year ago up until now now when he bumps into an alpha werewolf named Liam who actually saved him a year ago and stuff goes from there let's just say that the series series gets far more ridiculous than you know, from here on out so yeah that's it for this video if you like please like share and subscribe down below you can my social media my email and some other stuff and i'll see you in the next one